What's going on, silencers, steppers, and everyone in between? I do have to apologize as we begin this new journey. I had some audio issues for my first three episodes, so I put together a brief compilation of all the work that we've done. And uh, today is a marathon day, so we'd actually be releasing uh, an episode per hour, but I will be a little behind Far Stepper in that my next episode will be about three hours from now with episode four. So if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things, and stay tuned for the entire bingeable series of our stupidity in the post-apocalypse. But without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so tons of clothes, t-shirt, pants, got a bedroll, got a pistol, got a pocket knife, repair kit. And flashlight. Oh, and some first aid bandages. Oh my god, there's a bike right in front of me. All right, I need me some stones. All right, stone pickaxe. Gather a branch. Can I just chop down a tree for a branch? I did, I did. Oh, sorry, I think I'm supposed to do... Since I have no idea where you are, I'll, I can talk to you on the radio. Ow. Mother, father, crawler, zombie, got me in the damn ankle. You bastards. Oh, there's a Mustang right here. Oh, please be drivable. Please be drivable. It seriously doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. Oh, it's a, sorry, it's not a, not a Mustang. I'm going to piss off some car aficionados here. Oh, wrench. Yeah, just remember that the zombies, the weak zombies are fast. The strong zombies are slow. All right. God damn, go down, dude. Oh, do we? So in the, oh, we have carry weight. Okay. Yeah, rest in peace, Steve. He was one of my idols. Yeah, he was he was one of the Holy Trinity. There was Bob Ross, who taught you to love yourself. Steve Irwin, who taught you to love nature. And Steve Rod and uh, Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers, who taught you to love your neighbor. But the way I have to fight, I basically have to back up while I'm poking them. No, it's it's masterfully done. I, I like the UI and whatnot. Stay down, bitch. The uh, oh, what the fuck are you? Are there survivors in this? Oh, Jesus, that's fucking you, son of a bitch. You scared the shit out of me, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I have a broken leg. Yes, I'm sorry. Damn it. <laughs> At this point, I'm just trying to get um, experience enough to level up. And mining and excavation is kind of my thing. 
So like when it comes to chopping down trees and digging out ores, like that's the fun part for me. We haven't we haven't researched it yet. We need to be able to re oh fuck. Um so we uh we were going to attempt and we still may attempt. Right now I'm having second thoughts, but we're going to attempt the nomadic life for the first three horde nights, like uh Far Stepper was saying. Um so we're going to Bunker down in a POI for Horde Knight. Um, maybe we'll start construction on a permanent base, but we will not be spending Horde Knight in the same place twice for the first three weeks. Then uh, we'll go from there and uh, and figure out something else. OK, so um, a little a little uh, tip for our viewers. We will constantly be talking about loot stage and we will be talking about game stage. If you press I on your keyboards, if you're playing the game, you'll see uh, it'll say zombie kills, player kills, deaths, levels, zombie stage, whatever. Um, it's, it's all the stats that come with a multiplayer game. In this case, uh, this is my first time playing with somebody else, but I do pay attention to this in my single player stuff. Uh, under game stage, it says one. That is a math equation that is your level times uh, your level times how many days you've been alive minus how many deaths you have and that tells you how how many bad guys there are going to be how hard horde night's going to be right now if we had a horde night each of us would have to kill two zombies and that would be it but if we get up to say level 10 by horde night we'll have like 50 zombies a piece that we have to kill um loot stage used to be the same as game stage it is not anymore but in the forest biome, it's somewhere between like five and 10% less than everywhere else. So even at the best stages, you're not going to get good loot out of the forest. The forest is like your easy stage. Then it goes desert, snow, and wasteland in that order because the burnt biome is no longer a thing. God damn, that is so cool. Oh. Wait, upgrade? We can upgrade our um, stations? Oh, and to explain what we did with the zombie mechanics. So I had a theory that... Uh, sorry, I'm winded. Um, I had a theory that zombies that were newly infected were still limber from, you know, not being dead so long. So they're fast. Those bastards can haul ass towards you. Yeah, and for the sake for the sake of episodes, we're probably going to grind through the night when we finally get a place set up. Uh, and that way you guys don't have to deal with uh, us doing the boring stuff. And then we'll record during the daylight. Yeah, I'm about to slurp down a bunch of eggs like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So is the blue stuff the stuff? Oh, those are schematics. Go into your, you know, your skill menu. Have you finished your skills and gotten your five starter points? Okay, I did, and I put one level in perception because I want to do spears as my melee. I have one point in lucky looter. I put one point in strength and one point in pack meal. So that was my five. So I'm going to do perception and rifles for ranged and full arms for melee and then i'll also focus on the hunter and farming as well as the um the mining uh oh oh no i just dropped the water i'm dropping the eggs the water the co i'm dropping some shit in this um this thing whatever the fuck it's called what am i standing in front of a garbage can jesus Hey, I didn't sprain anything. I'm impressed. All right, so uh, I didn't grab a quest. <laughs> so we'll do yours. Go down. Never learned how to not use his key. Valuable skill. If you've gotten this far, then congratulations, but this is just the beginning. If you want to keep yourself alive long term, then you must understand 
but there is a very long way ahead of you. Remember, Wasteland is a very cruel and unforgiving place. It spares no one. These series of tasks will help you get started and establish your presence in the harsh world of Undead Legacy, and hopefully you will live to pass on this knowledge to other survivors. Good luck, survivor. I do not have any of that on me. All right. Good night, all. See you in the morning. If you find any purple dye, let me know. I'll trade you pretty much whatever you want for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if I end up doing anything, I might uh, might just grind out for some storage so that we've got some storage over here. Now, I don't know about you, but I refuse to eat cat food. Um, in game, I refuse to eat cat food. As you can see, I got a few other blueprints. Surprisingly, you get the blueprints really easily if you search broken furnaces and broken uh, workbenches and stuff. I think the only one I don't have is the workbench. Uh, a lot of them actually come... A lot of the uh, mailboxes have a lot of them, too. And Do we have a dump chest? Uh, not really. Okay. You can use these boxes if you want. They're not super large, but it's something. Oh, pretty big. All right, let me drop a lot. I got a lot of stuff on my uh, inventory. No worries. Bag of holdings are the greatest. What are? Bag of holdings are the greatest. Yes, they are. Okay, go into your map and hover over it or click on it and then hold on. Dead. Oh, gotcha, bitch. Have put down some roots. Good God. You just shredded him. Yeah. But I think right here would be a good place to do our mine. Do you think? Yeah, look at all those rocks here. Oh, well, I, hold on, I'm coming. I'm coming. I. Uh... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You're so slow, you're still gone. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you cow. <laughs> oh, and by the way, steppers yes. and silencers, we will see you in the morning. No need to watch the boring grind of digging. So unless something amazing happens, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>